Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be filming a quick little tutorial to show you how to do this colorful eye look. If you watched my haul from the other day, then you would have seen that I <clears throat> picked up a new eyeshadow from the NYX Ultra Pearl Mania series, and this is the Turquoise Pearl. So that is what I'm going to be using for this look today, or what the look is based off of anyways. I'm, of course, using other things as well, but... <laughs> I had to test it out so let's just jump right into it and I will show you guys how I did this eye. So first of all as always of course I'm going to start off with my Urban Decay Primer Potion in Normal or sorry original and I'm just going to apply that all over my eyelid um, because today I'm going to be putting a little bit of color under my eye underneath as well. So just like that, and then using a fingertip or a sponge, or I guess even a brush would work, I'm just going to go ahead and blend this out, bringing on the inner corner of the eye here, and then go ahead and go under, just like that. So now the next base that I'm going to be using today is an eyeliner, and this is an Annabelle Smudge Liner. This is in the color, let's see here, Aquas, Atomic Surf. And that's this really pretty, like, green, tealy, shimmer, beautiful color. So I'm going to be taking this and I'm going to be applying it all over my lid, all the way up until about three quarters of the way and just leaving a small blank space right at the very inner corner by the tear duct. And I'm just going to take this and apply it in a pretty thick coat all over the lid, all the way up to the crease but not into it. And just leaving that small blank space by your tear duct. And it doesn't matter if this is neat, because we're going to blend it a bit, and then we're going to put shadows on top. So it's not really a big deal how neat it is. And you guys cannot see very well what I'm doing. There we go. So on the other end of my smudge liner, there's this little smudgy brush. Now, of course, you could always use your finger or a smudging brush if you had one. Um, this is just here, so this is what I'm going to use. And I'm just going to kind of smudge the liner out a little bit just like this and just holding my lid taunt I'm just going to kind of soften that line where the liner stops just like that so that is what the base should look like it's just a really rough draft of where you're going to put your color so what I'm going to be using to apply my color today is a C208 Chisel Deluxe Fluff Brush. Not sure what company this is from, it's just a brush that I randomly have, but... And of course I'm going to be starting with my Ultra Pearl Mania in Turquoise Pearl. And one of the things um, that I like to do when I'm using a loose pigment like this is I put it into the lid of the pigment, whether it be a flat lid or a lid like this. And take my brush and I just kind of bang the brush into where the pigment is just to kind of pack it into the uh, the bristles so you don't get quite as much fallout. And then of course as always just kind of bang off any excess that might be sitting there. You're always going to get fall a little bit of fallout with pigments but this helps. So then I'm just going to take that and I'm going to lightly pat it all over where that base is. All the way up to the crease and all over the lid there. Just like this. So that is what that should look like. Just a nice solid wash of that color. Now I'm going to take another loose pigment. This is by Annabelle. This is a pigment dust in the color Tidal and it's a really pretty blue color Oop, and I spilt it that was a bad idea but anyways you guys get the idea so for that I'm going to be using another one of those random 
branded brushes, and this is a round contour brush, number C222. Again, just banging it into the pigment. I'm actually going to be using the pigment that I just dropped since it's there, but just banging it into the pigment. And then I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to start my crease. Just bringing it all the way into where the teal color ends, or the turquoise, and the out of the area here as well. Just to kind of start darkening, darkening it, blending it in onto the lid just a little bit, and into the crease. Just like this. Now I'm going to go in with a, where did it go? With a smudger brush, it looks like this, it's a small, stiff, stubby kind of brush. And I'm going to take a matte black color, the one that I'm using is out of the Naked 2 palette and it's the color Blackout, right here. But you can use any matte black, it doesn't really matter, whatever you have. I'm just going to get a little bit of that on the brush, and I'm just going to darken the very outer part of the eye, of the crease, in a little V shape. I'm just going to kind of blend that. And darken just a little tiny bit. And then I'm going to go back with that brush with the blue on it. I'm not going to put any more product on it, but I'm just going to use that to kind of blend the black and the blue together. And just kind of darken that crease a little tiny bit. Just like that. So that's what that's going to look like. Now I'm going to go in with a QO brush. This is an all over shadow brush and it's a really big fluffy shadow brush. I'm going to make sure there's no product in it whatsoever. And I'm just going to pull my lid taunt and I'm going to bring it across that line here and just kind of blend that line out a bit. And just soften it. windshield wiper motions and back and forth motions just like that so that's what that's gonna look like now I'm gonna go back into that Naked 2 palette and I'm gonna be using the color Foxy which is on this end here and I'm gonna be taking that color and using that as my highlight just like this And then with the same brush, again, I'm going to be going in to the Naked Palette, Naked 2 Palette, and taking the color Booty Call, which is right here, and just putting that on that blank space that we haven't put any color on yet. I'm blending it into the inner part of your eye. And this will just help brighten your eye and the entire look. Since it is a lot of color, it can tend to wash out the rest of your face, so, yeah. So that's what that should look like, and that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow. Just like that. Next, I'm going to go in and start my liner. So the first thing that I'm going to be using for a liner, I'm just going to move a little bit closer so you guys can see this better here, is a Gosh Extreme Art Eyeliner. And this is in extremely waterproof <laughs> um, and number 11 which is this pretty teal color it's pretty much the same as the uh, turquoise eyeshadow that we use and it's a pearly um, eyeliner as well so I'm just going to take that and starting where we started with the turquoise shadow not going all the way in but just where that turquoise shadow is and just bring it all the way across on the lash line like that. 
And then I'm going to go back in with the Atomic Surf Annabelle Eyeliner. Just pull my eye taut and put a nice line underneath the lashes on the bottom one. Just bring it in about three quarters of the way. So like that. So that's what that's going to look like. And then if you want, you can use the other end and just kind of blend the end a little bit here. Like that. Now, using the same smudger brush that we used for the black earlier, I'm just going to clean the black out of it quickly and dab it into some of that uh, turquoise pigment. Make sure you mash it into the bristles really well and then just bring it across the bottom and upper lash line where you just put your liner. Just kind of set that and keep it from moving all day. Just like that. So that is the colored liner. Now I'm going to go in with my traditional black for my waterline. Now unfortunately I couldn't find in my collection a gel liner with any kind of a blue sparkle or anything like that. So we're going to be using the Physician's Formula like always for brown eyes and this is the black one with the shimmer, purple shimmers in it. I want to go check their other shimmer strips and see if any of the other blacks maybe have um, different like blue or green shimmers in it because that would be perfect for this. Not that you really notice them but just to kind of add that little extra detail, right? Okay, so that's my traditional normal black liner. Just use a Q-tip if you have any mess ups. Just like that. And of course make sure that your shadow is still even if you're fixing anything. And that's the black liner. Now I'm going to go in with a angled liner and brow definer brush from Kiwo. This one's got some black uh, gel liner that's dried onto it so that makes it tough. I'm just going to mush it and make it flat like that. So that looks like this. So if you guys can see it's completely flat. And then I'm going to dab it into the black out color. Just dab it back and forth like this to kind of get some color on the brush. And I'm going to bring that in on the lower lash line and just kind of on the outer edge smudge it just a little bit. And the mixture on the brush of the cream and the powder seems to work really well. So, yeah. That is what that should look like. So to finish off the look, of course, you're going to need some mascara. Uh, for this, I did notice that the liquid liner the, seemed to really get onto my lashes, my upper lashes. And I noticed that there seemed to be a lot on the very tip. So what I've been doing, what I ended up doing was just kind of leaving, getting the bases as well as possible and doing my best to leave the very tips with that kind of greeny teal liner on it. I thought it kind of looked neat, so. Yeah. That is pretty much the look. Um, you could go bigger and bolder and you could do some false lashes. Oh, the one thing you never want to forget when you're doing a bright, colorful look is, as I did, <laughs> looked pretty funny if I went out like this, your brows. I did the one, but make sure you get off any excess. And as you guys know, I do use the color Buck from the Naked palette for my brows and just today I'm using, just because this is a brush that's clean, an e.l.f. mini blending brush. I got this with an e.l.f. eyeliner sealer um, but yeah whatever whatever you have if you have a brush for brows would obviously be better but this is what's clean and this is what's close so this is what I'm using and it seems to be working so it's doing the job for me. Okay so that's always really important when you have a colored brow. Or when you have a colored eyes to make sure that your brows are good. 
Um, other than that, you guys have seen my face um, routine. If you haven't watched the video, make sure you check it out so you can see how I do my face. You can just make sure that you get any fallout with a powder brush. And then if you have any streaks from the fallout, go back in with your foundation brush, just like this. And just clean that up. And yeah, I'm just going to touch up my blush here a bit. And today, uh, if you guys are interested, what I'm using is the Happy Booster Glow and Mood Boosting Blush in Natural. I'm just going to brighten up the blush here with the fallout getting brushed away. So did the blush. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's pretty much the whole face. Um, other than that, the only other thing you could do is put in a little bit of a highlight on your cheekbones, which I did not include in my foundation video because I don't wear highlight every day. Today I think I'm going to, so I'm going to use the color Virgin out of the uh, Naked One palette. And I'm just going to get a little bit on two of my fingertips here like this. And then just bring it and dab it on the top of my cheekbone here. Just like this. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm wearing my baby lips on my lips. And other than that... Um, yeah, you could put lashes on, but I think it tends to compete with the color on your eyes, so I try to not wear lashes too, too much when I'm wearing bright colors like this, unless, of course, it's a big event or photo shoot or something where they're needed. Anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed the look, and hope you're all staying healthy and fabulous. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below, and I'll do my best to answer and help you guys out. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Bye!